welcome back. We are finishing up the circles part one, lesson nine. We ran out of space, so we're, I'm going to finish it up with you. Okay, we're finding the measure of each angle or arc, the one that's asked for. In this case, number four, we are looking for an angle. Okay, that angle is a central angle. What do we know about an arc and its central angle? They are the same measure. So if the arc, intercepted arc, is 135, then that angle must also be 135. Okay, let's look, at, look over here at number five. Whoops, I'm gonna have to move the camera for you. Okay, number five, we're given an angle and we're trying to find an arc. Okay, the angle is again a central angle and central angles and in intercepted arcs are congruent. They're the same measure. So that means angle five is 96 degrees also. Okay, let's move on to number six. Number six is a little different. We have a central angle, right? Because the vertex is in at the center of the circle. And we need to find this angle back here. Well, that's an inscribed angle. Do you see it? It's inscribed because it lies on the circle. So we need to know this intercepted arc. Well, this arc, this angle here is 70 and it's central. So that means the arc is 70. But then I have to go back to the inscribed angle, which is half. That means the answer is 35. It's half of the intercepted arc. Okay, let's look at number seven. Seven is a quadrilateral. What do we know about quadrilaterals inscribed in circles? These two angles, the opposite angles, the rule is they are supplementary. So if this angle is 80, then this angle has to help it add to 180. So that means angle seven is 100 degrees. Okay, let's look at number eight. Let me slide it back out here. Number eight, okay. We have one of these angles that's in the circle, but it's not at the center and it's not inscribed. So we have to do what? We have to look at the intercepted arcs and add them and divide by two. So let's take our two intercepted arcs. So you take 160 plus 50 and we divide by two. So that takes us to what? 210 divided by two, which is 105. So that means angle eight is 105 and the angle that's, that's a vertical angle is also 105. <laughs>